Hi everyone, it's Mrs. P. And this video is all about the Pinwheels for Peace art installation project. This project goes with the International Day of Peace, which is celebrated all around the world every year on September 21st. This is all about how we are bombarded with television images, video games, music, and news articles that give importance to conflict and war. Violence has almost become commonplace and accepted as part of our society, and for some, it is a way of life. Through the Pinwheels for Peace project, we can make a public visual statement about our feelings about war, peace, and tolerance. And maybe in some way we can awaken the public and let them know what we are thinking. This project was started in 2005 by two art teachers at Monarch High School in Coconut Creek, Florida. The first Pinwheels for Peace were installed on September 21st in 2005. Since then, they have grown from 500,000 up to 4 million pinwheels every year. Our goals for this project are that you will be able to design and create a functional pinwheel that includes at least four elements or principles of art on one side and symbols of peace and also op art or famous artwork on the other side. Our main focus is how to create artwork that includes symbolism, personal experiences, or a philosophical view and be able to communicate them with an audience. You are going to be creating your own symbols of peace, or you can use symbols of peace that are already accepted. Some common symbols of peace are a dove with the olive branch, which was popularized by Pablo Picasso after World War II. There's also the common peace sign, which is a hand holding up two fingers, which stands for a V for victory. And then there's the circle with the line through it. So the rubric for this assignment is 100 points, and it's basically all about how you use the elements of art and follow directions. So creativity is also very important and following copyright laws. We also want to practice some of the blending techniques and some of the shading techniques. And then finally, craftsmanship is very important. So how you put together your pinwheel and how neat and complete it looks. I'm actually starting a new pinwheel and on one side, I use some of the regular symbols of peace and I actually looked up some different doodles that go with peace. So I drew some symbols that represent peace to me and I use Prismacolor pencils to color them in. On the other side, I'm doing an optical illusion of a heart because Peace and love to me go together very well. Once you finish coloring both sides of your pinwheel or drawing your designs on both sides of your pinwheel, then you need a pencil and a push pin. You're going to bend every other corner of your pinwheel into the center and push the push pin through the middle. The push pin goes through the middle and then into the eraser of a pencil. Once you are finished putting together your awesome pinwheel, make sure that you put your name and the period in the corner. You also need to fill out and turn in the Pinwheels for Peace rubric and take a picture and upload it to your Art Sonia gallery. 
I cannot wait to see how awesome these turn out.